And we're back. It is your girl Tahiri and my partner in crime, Danae B. Here. And welcome to At This Big Age. Shout out to 333 Lounge. Shout out to 333. But always being super accommodating. Food is amazing. Drinks are amazing. And we're in this place right now. Yes. Come through, y'all. I want to know. What you want to know? What would you do at this big age? Okay, damn, right to it. Okay, so right to it, because I'm not wasting no time. Period. If a longtime platonic friend tries to kiss you, what would you do at this big age? I'm going to kiss them back. What? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> because. <laughs> what? The gift that keeps on giving today. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Yeah, girl. No, I mean we could be sober all drunk. Either one, it doesn't matter. I, I spit on myself and everything. Are you getting ready for me? No, no, we're not swapping DNAs. Okay, but nine <laughs> times out of ten, the energy was probably it's been festering. Sometimes you just gotta do it. I told my husband like, do you know the friends kiss the boundaries? Did yes, but I told my husband I was like friends kiss. Friends hug, friends rub. Like, and he's like, really? I'm like, yes, we've been doing that our whole lives. Girls do that. Danae. Are you talking about a guy friend or a girlfriend? It doesn't friend? matter. Or yes, I told- they, who cares? You told your husband that. Please, please tell me what his response was. He was like, really? I was like, yes, all girls do that. Okay, well, I know boundaries, boundaries. Like, I set boundaries. I mean, I learned recently what they were because clearly I had been through some shit but in terms of friendship um mm -hmm. you said that you said that yes you'll kiss them back because but do you mean like relationship like it, sexy romance it, kiss? Says, it said a long time platonic, platonic friend, friend tries to kiss you it, it doesn't it, say like a romantic kiss it, it could just matter. be wanting to kiss. kiss kissing kissing is very intimate to me we're already platonic that means we're already intimate but there's boundaries and there's different type of intimacies depending on the type of rela relationships you're in yeah, if it's platonic, that means we've been intimate. That means this kiss could be friendly. It could I'm be religious. It but, could and be. Said, and then another important point that you're making is it means that you're already frolicking. Like you were no, in that not frolicking. We could just be right. That we could just be like very intense. You know, like having not, an intense I'm, I'm conversation. Not kissing, I'm not kissing my girlfriends and I'm not kissing my guy friends. Um, and no, that's not always true. Because my situation, for instance, I had a guy friend hadn't seen me in a long time. We were very close, very close, mm -hmm. um, but not that close. Like there was a boundary. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. And he came in for a big one and kissed me in my mouth. And I never was so fucking taken back and stopped. And I could not, I, it just, I just stopped. And I looked at him and I felt like he violated me. I felt like that was a violation. Like who gave you the right to like, what were you thinking to come in and just give me a kiss in the mouth when we never, I never even fucking treat you that way. Like, hmm. I hit you with the without my neck. Whoa. Facts, right? Cause you know, sometimes you do, you have to let people know, like. But I also don't feel like my friends look at me romantically. I just feel like sometimes we're intense and like the kiss just steals the deal of the intense conversation. Oh, we're not, I'm not kissing none of my friends. And again, I was taken back. I was blown away. I kind of looked at him like, did he really do that? And then I kind of like, I was a little like, it was weird and I didn't want to make it a thing. So then I kept talking about something else. And then I called my best, my other bestie and was like, can you believe such and such just came and just blatantly kissed me in the mouth, say hi. And then he said he hadn't seen me in a while. Not even that, even a tap on my hip is inappropriate for a man friend of mine. It'd be like, hey, what up? Cause I'm saying- The hip part of no. the hip. No. Cause like, you know there's a lot of hip. It fucking matter. Like their, like their, their, their boundaries, like a kiss, platonic kiss. What is a platonic kiss? A kiss on the cheek is platonic to me. Yeah, but what if it gets like right here? No, there's no, if it's by mistake that you happen to catch the corner of my mouth, cool. But as a guy friend, I don't look at my guy friends and want to fuck. Like, it's, I don't I look at them either, either like that. Actually. I look at them like brothers, like, ew, you really get pussy? Like, you really get women? Like, I wow. think for me, because I lived overseas for a bit, like, I got they're, a custom they're easy. to, they're, they're, like it's not free, free. yes, yeah, like free, free so and it's like it's about milk. And it's like flooding, and yeah. it's like, or it's like, like the conversation is just so good. It's oh, like, oh, I'm so happy yeah. with you. But you just said intense. That's like a whole bunch of that's that's fine. That that's weird. feelings, and I don't mean like slob me down, put no. your touch my esophagus, no. but like um. Or like a... Have I kissed a girl? Absolutely. I, but was she... Like, I'm talking about platonic friends. Yeah, I'm not just... No, my friends. No, we're not swapping. Like, I have some friends that I will definitely like kiss. Why just like swallow this shit? Because like, you was getting ready. Like you ah! want to do it. Ah! Your friends.
dancing right now, see? We want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, not, honestly, honestly, I don't really see how platonic and kissing um, go together. I think it's like... Unless you're playing, like we're playing. Uh, unless I want to kiss you and that's different, but I'm going to let you know I'm not just going to slide it in. That's like a violation. But that's, that's why I say I feel like sometimes the conversation is like... Nah, not if we didn't agree. So taking. I didn't, and by, after we didn't kiss, like, what, what, plat what part of platonic is that? Like, I don't mean like rub through my scalp. Like, it don't dig through it. my HD lace, I try mean, to touch my braids, and like kiss I me. I think I have something on social media where I kissed one of my bartending buddies I've seen in a while, but we went in for it. We're like, what up, Grandma? See? Why, if you just come out the blue and that's a flutonic friend. Yeah, but that was just me fun and drunk at the bar or whatever. At the, at the, it was like July 4th or something, some fireworks, but now nah, I'm not. I feel it's, it's awkward to me if you just come in for it and I'm not expecting it. Where, where, I have to give we have to be in tune for that yeah and that's what I feel like that's when I would kiss my friend like if we're in tune and if it's like in the moment Fred <laughs> tries to kiss you in other words you're not expecting it is that uh, like, like tries to like your what your like, friend did yeah, yeah like and I'm like whoa, whoa. yeah I don't have no friends that might do that yeah, no, I, I to be honest that. damn right, well. well what if what if hear me out because I'm about to dig into something right now what if hypothetically i can't see um, that friend went in for the kiss you liked it and then he was like yo tahiri i really want to take you out on a date i want to take about date. i don't yeah i don't i don't i don't date my friends i um i i don't date my friends like in terms of like if you're a guy friend you put in the friendship category that's it I, I like you could never see him romantically what? no no i could not none of my guy friends however one or two of these guys in at this big age have slipped through the cracks and i had made that mistake honey uh there's this one guy he tried for so many years he's always, he was always so available and always so nice to me always so available and i used to be like oh and then a few times he came and came in for like the foot rub and shit and i was like so you was day, open to it and then it no, just didn't no, no, work out? Friends, no, and then oh. one day we just was out the country and I was like, we here. I mean, you know, during the pandemic, you know what I mean? Early 2019. And I was like, man, let me smack him with the, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, I was so like, yo, he's been waiting for 10 years. Let me just, you know what I mean? Did something come of it? No, man. We came Are you back guys still and, friends? Yes. Yes. That's nice. I was thinking about, you know what I mean? Because it's been a minute. Probably go pay the visit. A but no. It just didn't go, and it didn't, ha nothing happened. He went through trials and tribulations, and life took us our separate ways. But we're so, so that was just what it was. So you crossed the line, and nothing came of no, it. No, nothing came of it. And mm -hmm. then the second guy, now we're not friends. And so now I feel like I'm mourning a friendship and a relationship, and that sucks. That's why I don't date friends. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I don't date my friends. My friends okay. are my friends, and that's it. Dang. I mean... I, I don't don't ask me about dating child because if I knew the answers I would be in something right. I now. mean nobody really has the answers. It's all trial and error or I'm tired of these errors, trial though. and like success. <laughs> like nobody yeah. has the. There's no way to but tell no, anybody. I try not to date my friends. Let's just say that I try not to date my friends. But I, do you think that friendship is the basis of a relationship? Yes, I believe friendship is the basis. But I'm talking about the guys that you know from the very beginning. We women know we're gonna we're gonna make them wait. Mm -hmm. If we're going to give him some, if we're not giving them none, if we're we're just going to, he's going to be dick in the box, if we want to marry, we know where we going to put this guy in the, when we put them in compartments. Mm -hmm. So when you friend zone a guy, let's just say, barely you get out of that friend zone. It's it's rare. And in my case, I think two guys in my whole life at this big age have gotten out of friend zone. And that's rare because once I friend zone you, it is a wrap. Dang. I did a lot of my friends. And we're still friends after. But I think I'm also just such a wild card. Yeah. I think I'm, like, really, like... Free. Free. I'm, like, the the card that you take out of the box that you don't play cards with. Like, if you're playing spades, I'm the one with all the words on it that you never read and just put over here. I'm that card. What? Yeah, I'm the free card. I'm, like, just... I just sit in the box. I have a blast by myself. I wait for all my other 52 cards to come back in the box because, you know, it's 54. I'm one of the two that stay in the box. And I wait for my friends to come back in the box, and then we have a blast. Oh, and, then the and I'm free. And they, they bring out the friends again, and you stay in the box. Yeah, and I've been there having a blast by myself. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the card I am, but for I sure. That. I am, I, be, I don't know. I my Again, the core of any relationship is friendship. But uh -huh. when I friend zone a guy, that's just it. He's just not the guy I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date. So, I don't see him. I don't, I'm not attracted to him. So what am I, I'm going to date a friend just for the sake of dating a friend and then cheat on him? Like, what's the point? To fuck up a whole friendship? 
Okay. So let's talk about the guys you do like that are and not the friends. guys. The guys that are friends in different ways. Like yes. guys I decide to give a chance to. So are you the girl that don't want to go to the chain restaurants? You don't want the cheesecake. You don't want the Applebee's. You don't want the... Are you that girl? Interesting topic. It's It's been quite, uh, you know, conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm going to say that, you know, it all depends on what you can afford. But when it comes to me, these restaurants are all over, like... My neighborhood is filled with, you know, the Cheesecake Factories. Uh, I live around uh, Red Lobster. I live around absolutely all of them. Can we pull up the list? Please pull up the list. Um, so Olive Garden, I love me some breadsticks and salad. Yeah, uh, and you fall by the time you fall below the wing, no. wing stop. Uh, I don't do buffets. I, I really don't like them. I don't even like um, uh, all inclusives because of that, but I've been to some. Denny's, love the chicken fingers. You know, Starbucks. Wait, before we go there, because I met somebody at Denny's and we dated. Because I used to go to Denny's and I would sit at the community table and like have different conversations with all the people there. He made so he many is interesting, interesting people. Here's the card. And I met box. someone at and that table and we hung out like after oh. that and we had a great time. I'm okay. Fine. Chipotle's, all that. I, I get the runs with Chipotle. Me too. I can like the chimneys. I love the fucking bar chimneys and the margaritas. However, I never had that uh, To me, these, these restaurants are so common in my area. Uh, right? So it's so regular. Enjoy, um, I can order out. We can Uber. We chilling. Um, it's just regular to me. That's where I just go whenever I'm rushing to the mall and back. I'm something real quick. I'm something real quick. I don't consider those dates. Um, I like to say that if I'm going on the first day, I like for him to take his time to kind of plan his date out mm-hmm. and make it special, right? If if I'm worthy. Um, so that's why I don't care to go to. The so does the place make it special, or does the person and the conversation and the experience both, make it both. special? I like to say I was a waitress and a, I was the waitress and a bartender. For a long time and mm-hmm. so I've served so many people and I've been the ear to so many people in these places that I want to go somewhere where you know I feel special so it's the place and the person it, it just like I said we discussed me being a holiday person me being a gift giver me putting in thoughts behind mm-hmm. things and I think that where you take me means that you actually took your time to think it through so it's about the thought behind where you're taking me mm. But once we've established some type of solid relationship, you can take me anywhere. And it's just about you, baby, because home is a person. And, and you can have fun with the person if you take me around a corner to the fucking candy shop. But I already, we've already, you know what I mean? You, we've already, we've already, we're solid. Hmm. What, 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 the, what does that matter? Interesting enough that you say that. Mm-hmm. I was talking to some guys the other day on a job. And the guy was like, you know, I'm not blowing the bag on a girl on the first date. Okay. I'm taking her to a coffee shop or a cheesecake so I could dig into her, see what yeah. she's about, you know, what her conversation is like. Okay. And, da, da, da. and I'm like, that's interesting. Because then I, you take them out, you spend 600 and you realize you don't like them. Right. You're setting the precedence, like, very, like, the yeah, expectations no. very high for I, the next I could see that. couple of minutes, yeah, months, I whatever. I have a friend that said the same so thing. So how is, like, what is that like I have a friend that said the same thing. He was actually trying to talk to me. He said that he doesn't do dates, that he's not spending money on a woman on the first date, that he'll do something with them, like ride bicycles. And I was like, you go ahead on that date then. I'm not the one. You don't want to ride the bike? I mean, I'm cool with that. We can do that. But, but don't, later on. It'd be limitation and restrictions so fast, so like, what's the big, just let's go have that meal. Um, I, I, I don't know. I never really experienced a guy who didn't want to take me on a, you know. But you said the thought day. in riding bikes is, you know, you got to uh, find yeah. a place to rent I it. So. What park is beautiful. After we burn all those calories. What if you made us sandwiches, got them in the basket? I'm not going to eat no sandwich in the, in the basket on the first date. That leave that for like the third date. Like when we have, you no. Know, you know what? I want to look pretty, get dressed, and walk somewhere with candle, candlelight dinner and sit and have conversations. And if that's a waste of money for you, then I might not be the chick for you. And again, it's about you putting thought behind our first date. Uh, possibly some phone calls to see if you can dig into me that way. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's other ways you can find out if, I, if you want to spend that money on the first date, unless mm. you just happen to meet me. And if you happen to meet me on around the corner at Flatbush, uh. sir, and you want to take me out, Sir, if you just throwing it, if you, sir, sir, if you're like on the whim, you're like, yo, fucking and YOLO it. Let's go for that meal. Let's spend that money. Cause just like you met me like that, we might have the best time of your life. You know what I mean? Who cares? So you don't expect that treatment to continue throughout the entire I, dating I, shit. I, I, 
I went to the Cheesecake Factory with my ex-boyfriend every fucking week, every other day. We were there so much, I was like, bruh. No, but not your boyfriend. Like, this is just someone you're dating. Oh, dating? I don't know. We can be creative with it. Let's just add some creativity. It isn't always about spending a dollar. I'm just saying. But you don't want the first one to be my no, grad. Do you know, I don't really, I don't, I'm not going to Cheesecake Factory on my first date. I'm not. I go there by myself. I sit at the bar. <laughs> like, why would I want to go on a first date to the place that I go to frequently all the time? I'm sorry, sir. If you take me to Cheesecake Factory, I'm not going to Fridays, Tuesdays, any day of the week for that matter. Wait a minute. I am that Fridays, Tuesdays, Chipotle. Tuesdays? I'm not doing Tuesdays. Never, uh, oh, that's Tuesdays. What's Tuesdays? It's a, it's, a, it's a chain restaurant. It's like Fridays. I never heard of it's Tuesdays. Other towns. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I will go to the Waffle House after that's the That's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> what about the Waffle House? Oh, that's different. Now, we five in the morning. You know what I mean? We get waffle. We can get some waffles. You know what I mean? Give me an all-star, okay. baby. Scrabble some shit. Yeah. You know I mean, okay. Yeah, the syrup. So, Waffle House is, in, is not on the list. Not a deal breaker. Okay. I mean, I don't have a list. All I'm saying is that I'm not going to the places where I go to every day if I'm not cooking on a date. I'm not, unless we meet there. And if that's our thing, mm. you know what I mean? We meet there, we met there. So, hey, meet me on Tuesday. Fuck me, why not? But other than that, no. I want to good. I want to look pretty. I want, people, this shit is down the, dating is down the drain. I want to, I, get my makeup done throw on a pair of tight heels and pull up and you open the car door take me out even if it's just just lie to me let me just go and laugh Damn. and have some martinis with you and ha 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 is your orange charlie yes. you don't drink martinis dry no, no, not I'm... even dry no it's i like them naughty oh. i'm already naughty okay like olive juice and mm. so yeah like lie to me a little bit make me feel good and then okay let me, I'll let you know I'm wearing an underwear that day in a dress, and then we just pretend play and have fun. Make it fun. Make it sexy. Make it luxurious. Uh, Who the fuck wants to go to Cheesecake Factory? Me. But maybe on the other day. I don't mind. Because for me, it's about the experience, the conversation, the are you opening the door for me? Are you holding the umbrella? Like, oh, yeah. what are we talking those about? Things, those things are important. Like, are, and this is another thing think. that's super important to me on a date. Like, are you going to ask me what I want? And then when the waitress come, are you going to order my food for me? I'm not even... Because I really like that type of stuff. I love a man to order my food for me, order my drinks. Like, just let me be pretty. Because I'm going to get dressed up to go to Cheesecake. I'm going crazy. I might wear a gown. I literally live like six minutes away from one. Well, fuck it. Yeah. It, that's a fun though. I'm not going to lie. If, if I get dressed up and it pulls up and he pulls up the Cheesecake Factory, I'll chuckle. Ha ha ha. You got to be fucking And I want it to be my birthday every and time we go. And I pull up and I pull up and then we sit there and then I, I'll do it. Like, I'll do it. I, I won't completely be like, oh, as if. I'm yeah. Like, but I'll do it. But would that be my ideal first date? No. No. And then by the time we do this first date, we done been on the phone kicking it. I done yeah. sent you some gifs on social media. I done sent you see shit. We going back. We having conversation without having conversation. I know your, your, your sense of humor is cool. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That, you know, so by then we know exactly what vibe we're on. You ain't even got the guess. We outside. Okay. You know, that makes I mean? sense too. Yeah, but if we just happen to meet and we do whatever is whatever, mm -hmm. um, you might want to YOLO it, you might want to do cheesecake. I'm not beat, but do I really want to go somewhere and like act like I'm wearing a suit and just be like, no, I don't. I want to look pretty for whoever I want to go on a date with and be in a beautiful place. I'm all about you want ambiance. Yes, because again, remember, I was a waitress and a bartender forever. <laughs> I took care of so many people. I want to be taken care of. Yeah, you want the ambiance. I want this there and be like, you don't want to talk to the bartender and the waitress. Yeah, I want to talk to them too. I want to you have do? Fun, but in a beautiful place. Because you want to take the pictures. Restaurants and the bathroom is horrible. I'm not eating. Yeah, that makes sense. So then that's what I'm saying. Let's I don't want to be it. slipping and sliding on the floor, on the bathroom floor, or in the restaurant, skating. Best date you ever had. The best date. <laughs> so, it's my birthday. <laughs> Or birthday. It was my birthday, and this guy I was talking to. We drove up the PCH and his Porsche. PCH. Yeah, yes. the Pacific Coast Highway in in California. Sure, yeah. why I was so slow. Oh my course, gosh. We zoomed. It was so nice, and we went yeah, to. We went to a vineyard and be like, "Oh, this was so sexy." We went to a vineyard. It was so romantic like we watched the sunset he was drunk huh? i wasn't even that drunk to be yeah. honest out of vineyard i was just so enamored i was overwhelmed with, like the thought in the scenery and uh -huh. the the um the tour guide with the stories and like him showing us like all the 
the Mayans had rode on like the mountains up there and like just it was really really beautiful. Did you go on at the end of the night? No, I didn't. Girl, who are you kidding? I Girl. didn't. I didn't. It was just so romantic. It didn't even call for that. Like it was just we watched the sunset on the beach. Like we had cheese and a charcuterie board charcuterie board i didn't even know what it was so like yeah. a couple years ago i didn't, i can't even spell that shit charcuterie board charcuterie board with the great and phone Ooh, it yeah, was that was like the best one of the best dates. i've had a lot of great oh. dates but that was like something so and i wasn't expecting it so it was really nice what's yours my best date I, at this big age was recently actually Mm-hmm. Um, it was in between two guys. They were I was I was talking to one. The other one wanted to take me out a date. He'd been trying to talk to me for a minute. Um, and he had me pull up. He sent me a car. He had me pull up to like this um, rooftop bar here at NYC, sexy bar where you pull up and you can't tell there's something inside going on. It's sexy and it mm-hmm. comes in the spot and you walk in and there's like a pool in the rooftop and everybody's sexy mm-hmm. and the drinks are flowing. And so he got me two rounds, you know, we started pre-gaming at the rooftop bar. Um, from there, he had reservations to um, a restaurant in the city. Uh, we had amazing dinner, all vegan dinner. Uh, and then uh, from there on, he then took me to... Uh, now nah, I'm going to have to Google this shit. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's the... It's the okay. thing. Tell me. Oh, my God. Uh, he had it all planned out, right? Gramercy Park. No, is it Gramercy? Yeah, you need a key. So the key says here it's 350, 350 a year, right, for the key. Mm. Um, you have to live in the area or something about the park. Like, you have to live in the area. Um really exquisite like you can't just get in so he had he pulls out this little magic key in his garden and i'm just standing there thank god my shoes were comfortable and we start walking and after we walk and walk and walk um he then i sit on a bench he tells me to sit down and then he pulls out like flowers from like behind a uh uh behind the the, the branches the, the, the oh, like the garden and it's the garden it was just it was just the way the night flowed, like rooftop, pregame, car service, chauffeur, into wow. the dinner. After dinner, we walked the food off at Gramercy Park with a key. Um, he opened the gate. Nobody's at the park but him and I were walking through this beautiful This sounds like y'all was about to get engaged. He pulls out, I'm t- that was our first date. He pulls out this big bouquet of flowers. It was exquisite. It was beautiful. From then on, we walked. I was just like literally completely like stuck Aww. um then he goes in for the kiss so i allowed him to do so that's nice uh he gave me a he gave me a tap kiss and i was like oh this is kind of he put this he put it work yeah he, that was the thought yeah, yes that's and very sweet from there on he had we walked a couple blocks over to a bar mm-hmm. and it was beautiful it was just like it was it looked like a cabaret type of vibe and then had drinks there and then we walked, and then he put me in a car home. I mean, he's trying to come home with me, but I was like, I'm, he's a, yeah. I got that date right there. But um, it was the best. It That's was just, it was well thought out. It was well thought out. It was something that has never been done before. And the fact that, you know, he had the key and that everybody could get the key and you have to live in the area. And look, I don't even, there's like rules <sighs> to all this to be able to have that key mm-hmm. um, was pretty fucking dope. Oh, I love that. It was very that very romantic. It was very romantical. It was. All you needed to do was get down on one knee. Right? But it was our first date. So it was very dope. I mean, literally, I remember um, I was talking to someone already at the time. And he was like, so how was your date? And I was like, the best date ever. Uh, and I think that's when boy boy one was like, I got to, I got to, I got to, you know, I got to get this hurry up and kind of get my game together. Because she might, you know what I mean? Oh, boy, with the date. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So then I wanted to dating the other guy at that but the date was amazing but no no the best date ever that was my best date ever gramercy park flowers out the like it's like he went well i know he went before he took me there mm-hmm. and he staged the flowers oh. behind the tree like it was just the fact that he took the time to the time and you. thought it thought it out for you you so made it real day, special the best fucking date ever conversation was dope food was dope that's really nice that's sweet yeah the oh. only thing though is that since he was a vegan Everything I ate, um, he had to tell me that, that, you know, what's good for me, what's not good for me, if my hair shampoo, conditioner, and the 
that you know everything about what I was, you know, if you eat this and this is vegan. So, so just my whole life was just like a no way and got that minute. I relax your hair. Yeah. So the day was great, except when we got conversations about food. Yeah. And no. it was like, you eat what? Then he became a brochure. And I was like, damn. Uh, and so the whole time. I'm infomercial. Like, oh, yeah. The whole no. time I was like, is this what my relationship is going to be like? I don't want to date an infomercial. The, am I going to do the, the vegan life? Could I? Because I've done it before, but I, now this is serious. Yeah, no. Nah. I can't blow dry my hair because what? Mm -hmm. And so the whole, and dye red number five, and all these other things that already I get beat down with on social media. So that's the only thing that kind of threw me off. But Never mind. other than that, though, best date ever. If he was to let me eat what I wanted to eat. Yeah, no. Nah. So that was a no. no you still was, date him? Was, no, I see. We're cool. We're cool. We don't date, but yeah, that's cool. it. Informational. No, no. <laughs> we keeping the real today. You want to keep it real with me? I want you to keep it real, real with me. Cause I know all the time. Know. You know I want to know. Like everybody else want to know. Cause, Cause I'm always asking. It seems like everywhere I go, people have questions about reality TV. Yes, cause we're tuned the fuck in. I mean, but I haven't been on a show in like. It doesn't year. matter. But they replay your scenes. No, we I Google. Know, no, I, I get that a lot. Like the clips go, come up on Instagram. Yeah, they want to know the real and reality. We chuckle. We laugh. We want to know why. Like, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Yeah. So tell everywhere, everywhere. Like I just came back from Houston, and um, they stopped me in TSA, and it was like, yo, yo, is it true? Like, we, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, I'm still. Y'all still want to know about this type of shit? We do. Tell us. Mm -hmm. I'm from my seatbelt on because I feel like it's about to be a while. No, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, so there's a method to madness when it comes to reality TV. Like, you know, it is okay. real. But then is it really real if you're not real? Like, it all depends on the character of the person. What's the setup? Like, do they give you drinks? Do they oh, say... Lord. My experience. Do they, like, give you questions? Do they be like, oh, we're going to put you in this place with these people? Yeah. And well, they, they can't really... Pretty much, you sign a contract. So, you know, they could say what they... They could say but so much. And okay. you get makeup, you can't ask hair and makeup. If they tell you where you're going for that scene that day, then mm -hmm. um, they get fired. So you can't ask questions now damn when it comes to reality um if they were to really film reality there'd be so much shit to edit and so much the story would go everywhere so they have to kind of put you somewhere together right so i guess let's talk about the real reality this one scene that recently happened the last season i did at love and hip-hop um, uh -huh. season 10 i think it was the og season um i was erica was marrying safari and it was a bachelor party mm -hmm. i don't know if you guys know as you know much as I worked in a strip club and as a, as all this shit I told, I really don't like male strippers. I'd rather be in a female strip club all day. I think a lot of females want to be at a female strip club. But yeah, but something about men in like tight little undies with, they with the tims. while hanging like their elephant nose and tims. And with the tims sweaty. and the socks. And then they come through like something. It just doesn't sit well with me. I'd rather have a lap dance. I don't dance like it. Day. I don't like it. But I, I like watch it. all the Queens men. So the fucking the show then doesn't tell you where you're going, but they send you a memo on how you should dress. So I'm ready and want linger lingerie lingerie it's a lingerie bachelor party and so i get ready i'm like already i put one or two together i'm coming uh erica's shindig something mm -hmm. to do with her bachelorette party so i pull up the other oh, the, uh, the other thing that people didn't know is that i actually had a boyfriend i was dating someone and he lived overseas mm -hmm. so he wasn't filming he wasn't part of the show so that was no need to bring up that story right right so i pull up to this fucking bachelorette party and of course i don't like guys sweaty balls all on me for some reason i'm the girl in the back saying no 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 oh, please no no yeah i'm rooting for the other people to do it so now we're all in that joy erica's got a cake of a big ass chocolate penis there we're like kicking it this motherfucking drinks flowing i have to let go you know what i mean let go and let god yeah the camera. but i'm in the back Cause I don't like sweaty, and then I, I be shy and shit. So you know I want to be all stiff on this. Anyway, <laughs> fast forward to me having a boyfriend. Did I say I had a boyfriend at the time? No, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but I'm on the show. Yeah, ciao. This stripper comes out of nowhere, so and I'm back. like, oh, this is where I exit stage left. Mm, you thought, and the girl started pushing me or pushing me over to the guy. Go, go. He's carrying the girl that he's dancing. And here I come, and he decides to pick all this junk up, all this junk in my trunk, all this. And I'm just not to think of how it was. A, I don't like strippers, mm -hmm. guy, male dancers, chipping nails or whatever. Two, oh my God, oh my God, I have a boyfriend. Oh my God, he's <laughs> on camera. Oh my God. They're definitely going to air this. No, no, actually, I didn't think about my boyfriend. I didn't. I thought about not looking stiff on camera. They're definitely going to air this. Let those girl, let it go, let it go. And I proceeded to ride this light skinned dude in a pit. 
Sims and I was and I completely forgot that all the B roll people had their phones out and next thing you know uh, it goes viral. And all I could think about was did I look stiff? I didn't look stiff, right? Cause shut can't nobody talk about me. I'm not going viral looking stiff. And then I remembered. But then I didn't think about my ex-boyfriend having an issue because he knew that I he was on his show. And it's yeah. his show and it's his work. It's work. Oh, he broke up with me. He broke up with me. Damn. Family members were hitting him about this clip of his girlfriend um, straddling. A, like, a sh but I was on, like, you have seen working. the of, you know, whatever. You've Everything. Love and hip-hop, like, we're... Watch it. We're on TV. I'm watching, watching for sure. I'm too I'm late. hoping that shit got edited, but it was too late. It went viral on social media. Uh, I mean, I don't even think they played it on the show. And I try to explain to him, like, that was, like, I don't even like this. Like, I want to do that. Like, I was, it was forced. You were working. Yeah, it was, it was literally. And you were also yeah, having was, fun. And it was, it, no, it, no, it I, I was fun. Thinking, no, I didn't that really mean you might have been mortified. And you didn't want to look stiff, but you were having fun. I want to dance with this guy, but I'm on camera and everybody's pushing me and the vibes went. And next thing you know, I. You blacked out and you have fun. I. You're at a bachelorette party. I put my leg across his, I crossed my legs on his waist and we done. You wanted to secure the jump. And, and and ride it to your town today. What was I going through looking for the night? Like, no, no, I was on cap. Look, man, it just happened, and he broke up with me after that. Look, in reality, I had a boyfriend. Two, I don't like strippers, and three, it was all set up. We had eighteen cameras. Um, it, it was cameras everywhere, and it's cut. Everybody, people are arguing in the bathroom. People, have, there's so many things happening um behind the scenes that you guys don't really get to see. Um, I, I was really not happy about the scene, but I, it was out of my control. It's out of your control and you're, you're, you're freaking working. And bro, she I, was working. And by the time I jumped, like by the time we left the place, it had already went viral. He was so mad. Was he, were you sad? I told him that I sat with him before I did the show and he should have cut the check. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But were you sad when he broke up with you? Yeah, I was fucked up. Oh. Cause I didn't really, I didn't do it with malice, right? And I thought that he understood that, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes I would take it things, ha things happen on camera that sometimes, yeah. is that when it airs, it happens. We we sh when the shit airs, it's pretty much like three months in it ago. Yeah, depending on the show, some shows air and they 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 edit completely and they just put the season out. Love and hip hop used to, I don't know how they film now, but two years ago we start filming let's say october so we got november december december we still filming but then that's when the first episode airs mm. so we're still at work as the episodes start to unwind that's where that's why so much beef happens because it's like i see you monday but then that episode that aired you said some foul shit but then i see you next week. i gotta that's relive it about, about me in october bitch after we've been kiki like yeah so we relive these things so that's what he didn't know. So a lot of the arguments were like, yo, that should happen in November. Um, we're in fucking da 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 da. Or he'll be like, so how was the wedding? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Erica married in October. It's, it's like a double. 24. Like, what are you? It was like, he didn't a double reality. Yeah, he didn't understand. And I would send him articles like, look, it wasn't that deep. Like, there were people there. Like, it was just a scene. It wasn't the way it looked. And it was just. And all I wanted to do was not look stiff on camera. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to become a meme like this. Uh, <laughs> well, clearly you did a great job at keeping it real, straddling and riding that thing out. Thank you, Tane. And thank you for keeping it real with me today. <laughs> so everything you see isn't always real. But it, okay. I want you to keep it real with me in this game, though. Okay. What uh, game you got going on? Bam! See you in all. How did I know? How'd you know? Ding, 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 ding. Hey, hey, I know King be having mad fun with you at home. A blast. See or nah. Yes. It's your responsibility to financially support your parents. Oh, that's a tough one because <laughs> it makes me feel good and I and I and I I do feel like that is my job, although a lot of people tell me um it's not. So I think it's a cultural thing. I think it has to do with where you come from. Um I'm Dominican, Dominican descent. We uh we kinda like our parents look at us like I birthed you. Yeah. <laughs> It's your job to take care of me now. And you're like, huh? But a lot of my other friends from different nationalities don't don't feel that. They feel like I'm being taken advantage of. What's the saying, once an adult, twice a child, or something like that? It's like, the, truth. the cycle just like goes to eventually, even if it, I mean, we're all, we all work to be in a position to help our people yeah. out. Um, I, so I, I'm gonna say C. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it just makes me feel good to be there for them. Very good.
See or no? Damn, you shouldn't pass gas or take a dump in front of your partner. Hey, well, I was just talking about this shit yesterday with a guy friend of mine. Because he called me on FaceTime and I was screaming. He was like, what's wrong? I said, I just farted and oh my God. <laughs> Yo, this part was so bad. You know what you like? You, and I tried to hide my nose and I was like, whoa. Damn. What the fuck did I eat? Because that's not intense. So I am a firm believer that I am that easy when it comes to my man. He'll be in the bathroom and I'll walk in and I don't care if you're taking a dump. Like I'm chilling, I'm drinking a fucking Corona while he's taking the shit. I was about to, how's your day? I sit on the I'm tub. A vibe. I'm a vibe, right? I'm sitting on so the tub. Up, so, so I've been through situations, two situations. One where the guy would just pull up in the bathroom. I'd be like, dog, like we're not even there yet. Like we're not even that. And he's like, I don't care. And to me, that was like a sign of love. Like he almost didn't care where I was, what I was doing. Like whether I was taking a shit diary or not. He was there. Doubt or fear? I, my ex-boyfriend hated that shit. He was like, I feel like you don't respect me. I'm like, nigga, everybody takes shit. I don't know about diarrhea. And I'm like, it if it's water out. leaking out, babe, I, that's personal. I, I promise you a nigga pull, I would have to lock the door on this boy because he would pull up and don't care and sit there. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm, yeah, no. I'm cleansing. Right, I don't want one smell worse. You need to do that alone. I don't care. Now, my ex-boyfriend used to be like, I felt like you. I'm like, dog, we have two bathrooms. Why are you in line? Like, and I'm not gonna, if I gotta get up and get like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm human. So I'm, I feel like you should want to do that with your partner. Not the water stuff. Keep the water stuff to I yourself. Oh, you sit in the toilet, he pulls up. Oh, baby, you know how the stomach feel what's coming out. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like, depending on how close you are with that person, it's, I, I don't care. I'm like, yeah, whatever. We can have a whole conversation. Baby, solid, yes. For me, oh, no. liquidy, hell no, shit. Shit. I don't want you to be in my Don't face turn on the faucet from the back for no, me, babe. I don't want you to be Give me face. notice. I don't, don't want to be there. Face while, we sh while I'm shitting, but if you happen to pull up, I'm not tripping. No, if it's so If you pull up, I'm like, dang, that's love, because what you doing here? And I would pull up on him, I never really cared, but I'm that girl, I'm cool, I'm chilling. See or nah. What? If you visit a city where your friend lives, you have to tell them. Dang, I've gotten in trouble for that. Um, I say, if you don't want them to feel some kind of way, see, but I've missed a couple friends. I just did that recently. It was like, wait a minute, you live in Houston? He was like, I posted it, so you should have saw. You should have hit me. No shade. We don't have time usually, we're again. Yeah, we don't have time to like see everyone. But for the most part, you know, I think there was an app back in the day, I don't know if it made it like it was a complete success because ain't nobody talking about it, so I guess not. Where depending on where you landed, your phone, like your phone would change to like have the numbers come up. Like if you're in Houston, the Houston fucking, but you know, now I guess it didn't come. But that was like an idea because people would land in places and not know, put it together where their friends were. It's a nah for me because I don't really. I don't. I, I don't I, always have the time. I think early on in my career of you know hosting and on Instagram hosting, um, I was really big on just picking up and linking up. And now I don't care. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm exhausted. Hooked, man. Partying is not that much fun. And you didn't even call me yesterday. You ain't need to know. <laughs> it's okay for straight men to paint their nails. See, see. I'm into fashion. Uh, I'm into fashion. They do hands when they start getting flowers and like. Smiley faces, that's no, a bit I much say, for me. I say keep it very much solid. Yeah, like solid, solid. Block, black, block. You heard my Dominican block. Yeah, like, I don't know about all of the, the, yeah, the yeah. design. I mean, yeah. All right. Are you looking at him different if he gets a flower? I mean, you really had the time to sit there and get a flower, babe? No. Uh-uh. Air flag. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Talking during sex is a must. Um, I... Shit, that takes me back on my house. He was really good at that shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, see or nah? I mean, I'm single too. Hold up, it's been a minute. Woo! Yeah, he was really. He's a good talker though. He was like, he was just. Woo. But what about everybody? Like in nah. general. Well, I mean, if he's because not like everybody is good. good. Thick ass words, something I can't say. It's such charcuterie board. I might just be like, yes, that. No, okay. A long <laughs> thick ass <laughs> word no, is God. insane. No, honestly, um, no. It depends on the moment. Like I think there's time and place for everything. Look at the, depending on the type of sex we're having. But that one person. Moaning during sex is a must. Do you Yeah, yeah. It's not a must, but yeah, I want you to moan. I think moaning is a must. Yeah. Talking, you don't have to talk because sometimes we be saying some stupid shit. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you might say some shit the fuck it all the way. Up. Yeah, and I'm out of here. Shut the fuck up. I turn into like Jose Tahirio. That's how it's probably. Jose Tahirio. So they be like, oh shit. Huh. <laughs> huh, and that concludes my game. Oh my huh? God, these are so 
Let's see her now. Listen. 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 Give me a bonus. Bonus. <laughs> she come with just the body now. That's it. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in to see you or not. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in to At This Big Age. <laughs> like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, share. Let us know what you want us to talk about genuinely from the heart. I mean, we're no pros and we show your hoes. Goddamn. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Wait, what you mean? Wait a minute. That caught me off guard. I was like, not, but it's, it's, it's just bars. It's very nice. It's bars. It rhymes. You're a poet. It's nice. Yeah, I'm a poet. Ooh, poet. That's what, see? Rappers are poets. They liars too. Wait a minute. Until next time. <laughs> Hit us up. Let us know what you want to hear us talk about. Yeah. At this big age, we can talk about anything. <laughs>